Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Today, a question from Mike. How strict should one be when it comes to stimulus control therapy? This technique tells us that the only thing you should be doing in bed is sleeping. But again, how strict should one be? Hi, today we are talking about a question from Mike. Uh, Mike has uh, sent me several, several questions and I'm, I'm very thankful, Mike, and I, and I hope my answers are helpful to you and, and everybody else watching here. Now, um, for those of you who haven't watched previous uh, videos, uh, Mike has had problems for a couple of months with sleep, uh, really triggered by this health issue, or health scare rather, uh, and um, he has lately been, combina been combining bedtime restriction therapy, uh, which is when you, you know, limit time in bed, building a strong sleep drive so you're able to sleep, and then stimulus control therapy, which uh, involves leaving the bedroom if you're not able to fall asleep or if you're waking up and you're unable to fall back asleep. Now, uh, he has a very good question that he sent me in an email a few days ago. Uh, let's read it and I'll share my thoughts on this uh, before I do, as always, what I talk about here. Not medical advice to you, Mike, or anybody else, just kind of general thoughts, general advice that, that you have to decide for yourself if it's something that you know you uh, should be doing or that may be helpful to you. With that said, let's uh, read this uh, email together. I have decided that instead of getting up if I cannot sleep, which rarely happens now because I do not go to bed unless I am sleepy and not just tired, this is fantastic, this is what everybody should be doing uh, when um, using cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, meaning you should really just go to bed when you're feeling sleepy. In fact, that, that applies to anyone. Um, even if you don't have insomnia, you shouldn't go to bed unless you feel sleepy because that could potentially trigger insomnia. Sorry, a little side, side, get a little sidetracked there. I will just turn on the sleep meditation YouTube video, which is typically already playing as I fall asleep and not turn it off until I fall asleep again. What are your thoughts about this new approach given CBTI states do not do anything in bed but the three S's, sleep, sex, and six. sick. Um, so for you not familiar with this, uh, the three S's uh, and CBTI, well CBTI stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia and really everything I talk about in this channel is related to that. Um, now the three S's, um, sleep, sex, sick, it, it, it means that you know you should not do anything in your bed except sleep and sex and if you're sick you know you're allowed to spend time in bed. Now um, to get to your question here Mike, Personally, in my practice, I, uh, I'm not that strict uh, with you know, activities in bed when they're not uh, uh, associated with the frustration. Let, let, let me clarify that. So if somebody says, I usually uh, go to bed, I read for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes or something like that, and then I put the, bed, the book away and then I fall asleep. Or for that matter, if someone says I go to bed and I watch you know, a Netflix uh, show and then I turn it off and fall asleep, I think that's fine because they are not frustrated. They enjoy reading the book, they enjoy kind of you know, relaxing, watching a show, turn it off and go to bed. So when, when that's the case, there's no frustration that causes this unhealthy association of the, you know, of the bed as a place where you don't sleep. So basically my message here is, I think that if you're doing something bad, like listening to YouTube videos, listening to a podcast, or reading or whatnot, and you're not laying there being frustrated that you're not falling asleep, then it's totally fine. However, kind of as soon as you start feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm not able to sleep, I, I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed, that's when you should leave the bedroom not uh, as to not create this association of the bed as a place where you cannot f uh, sleep. Um, hope this was helpful. Um, as always, you, Mike, anybody else watching this, any questions, um, any thoughts, anything, leave a comment or email me at insomniainsight at gmail.com or send me a voicemail at 503-489-4802. And um, I hope to see you back here really, really soon. Bye for now.